spiritual warfare. I'm not intimidated. All right, it is officially February and it's time to start our main book of the month. So I imagine the TBRs for this channel to be a little different because I'm not going to have a whole stack of books. I'm going to have one book. Not that that's all I read or all you read, but um, we're going through books in manageable chunks. And this month's book is The Strategy of Satan by Warren W. Wearsby. If you want to follow along with my reading plan, I will be posting it in the description below, as well as on Twitter. So this book was gifted to me by a friend, and do not be deceived by its small size. It's only, what, three and a half inches by six inches, maybe. It's about 150 pages. This book is jam packed full of good thoughts. Uh, the author, Warren Wearsby, describes it as the essentials and rock bottom fundamentals of what God has taught me about Christian warfare through many years of studying and battling. I have proved these truths in my own life and ministry. Who is this Wearsby guy? Well, he's been a professor, a, an editor, a radio broadcaster, and of course, an author of over 150 books. He did a series called the B series, which looks at each book of the Bible individually and uh, has titles like Be Joyful, Be Rich, Be free. <laughs> um, and this book, The Strategy of Satan, was written about halfway through his writing career. If you want to learn more about this author, he's written an autobiography, a memoir, he calls it, called Be Yourself, Memoirs of a Bridge Builder. And I didn't know this, but Warren Wearsby uh, passed away less than a year ago, May of last year. So in a way, we're reading this book um, as a memorial. Spiritual warfare is inescapable. And while I don't think we are always directly battling Satan himself, um, despite the title of this book, I think this is a very practical down-to-earth book. And one of the things I love about it most is how many scripture references it includes right in the text. That's one of the reasons that this book takes much longer to read then it appears it might, because despite the fact that the verses are in there, um, I find myself wanting to look up context within the same chapter, within the same book, within the entire Bible. And so I find myself reading this book and the Bible in conjunction. Chapters one through four have a really interesting structure. They highlight four character for personalities that Satan takes on as the accuser, the deceiver, the destroyer, the ruler, and I didn't do those in order. <laughs> um, and then it breaks each of those personalities into four aspects. Um, who Satan targets in that personality or what he's targeting in that person personality uh, what are his tools or weapons, uh, what his purpose is in, his, in this specific attack, and then, of course, what our defenses are. So, 
If you want to be reminded of the power that we have through Christ to fight these daily spiritual battles, then I hope you will join me. Okay, so please comment below if you plan to read this book along with me or not read it and just follow along with the chats and discussions. Um, invite your friends to come and read and 